Craig Brathwaite disappointed in the way his team performed versus South Africa in the second test. You know, he gives certain player credits, but at the end of the day, he's really disappointed. Viewers and subscribers, welcome, welcome back to another video. Now it's a boy SAE. Big up yourself and thank you all for tuning in. If the first time on the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. So people, let's get into the main details of this video, right? Um, as you know, the West Indies kind of, don't want to say kind of, uh, disgraced the West Indies yesterday um, in the second test after they um, failed to really chase down 200 and had runs to win on the final. And they three. You know what the test finished within three days, people. You understand? They failed to trace down 200 and had with 10 wicket in hand. At the end of the day, um, it's a really disappointing batting performance by the West Indies. Certain and certain people calling for Craig Brathwaite. It's time for him to step down. Somebody new should take the, the realm of captain. Um, Craig Brathwaite is too defensive. Um, he's not an attacking captain. You know, people, a lot of people have their opinions as regards to Craig Brathwaite's leadership of this West Indies team. As we know, the West Indies, as a lot of fans might say, we don't support losing captains and we don't stick around with captains who's been losing, losing. We soon start call for his hand or his head in the captaincy. They believe that he should step down as captaincy and give somebody new. But who are the candidates there to really replace him? We have Joshua that Silver, yes. Um, Alzari Joseph said he's not ready for a captaincy, yes, even though he's the vice captain of the test team. So you have to look at it and say he's young, he's not really to re he's not ready to be tied down by test cricket. You understand? So Alzari Joseph is looking forward for his future. More improvement. Who else is in the team? Um we can say step up to take captain's role. So yeah, I understand Jason Ola already get captain already, so I don't believe that he will put himself in a role again to get the captaincy again. Um so you have you understand pretty inexperienced team. Kemar Roach, a veteran, I don't believe that he want the captaincy. Um, who else is there, people? Tell my people, guys, tell me who else is there to take the captaincy, but something has to happen. We're going to zoom in on what Brathwaite had to say in the people in the interview. I saw it this morning, you know, people, and, you know, West Indies test captain, um, Brathwaite expressed his disappointment um, with his team's batting performance after the 40 runs lost to South Africa in the second test in Guyana. Um... The defeat handed South Africa a 1-0 series victory over the rain-affected first test in Trinidad, which ended in a draw, right? We already know that how the first test went, but uh, reflecting on the loss, Brathwaite you know, acknowledged that failing to capitalize on the strong bowling performance was a key factor in the defeat. Yeah, if you look at it, it's obviously it was quite big. But what it said about South Africa, so Africa's last wicket stand on the opening day, but bowling them out for 160, I was happy. The par that partnership for them was was good, you know. It's cricket where partnership do happen, so I won't really stress on that too much. That was the first question answer. He was asked that question, you know, um, then he continued. But what I would say is our first innings total needed to be bigger. We needed to get a lead from it. Do you understand? I think that was very important. You can never complain about the bowlers' efforts to bowl them out for a 160. You know, the batting effort in the first innings just wasn't big enough. We had to fight back into the game and it in the end we fell short. Just all I contributed um with half century in the first innings and Brathwaite and was particularly uh impressed, you know, with Alec Athanas who he believes has the potential to score many test centuries in the future. I think Alec his innings was important to con Continue to keep learning as batters. Alec has a world of potential. I can see him scoring a lot of test hundreds, but we just got to keep thinking about our game. Finding ways to improve, he said. Every day is the same excuse. Finding ways to improve, we just are in that and rate, rate. You know, people, I believe fresh blood needed. Um, It's not a question, it's just when we're going to get fresh blood with the leadership. I think Brathwaite captains people is not. He's not a technician. He's a defensive captain. You understand, people? You don't know when to go in for the kill. You don't know when to put certain players there. You don't know when to put down pressure. You understand? It's like that. But 
and his batting is he's in terrible form, people. And that's a really big factor that's really causing West Indies because Brathwaite batting is one of the things that West Indies fans relied on over the years. Yeah, I understand, but uh it's not up this time. You know, despite the series loss, Brathwaite highlighted several positives from the two tests. Shamar Joseph, who did not play in the first test, made an impact a return by dismantling South Africa. Top orders with um top order with five or thirty three in the first innings. Jaden Seas was the team's highest wicket taker with twelve wickets in the series, including six for sixty one haul in the second innings of the second test, as the West Indies restricted South Africa to forty six for a lead up to sixty two. Right? He said, I think um bowling wise, you look at Shamar coming back in, not playing the first test and coming in bowling out South Africa on the first day, Jaden. Um, throughout the series and will continue to keep coming despite the hot conditions that was a positive but wait said you see the two spinners one of the first time two spinners played together in the caribbean and they did well in particular this game we are both of them um were under three runs and over that's one thing we asked for and that was great to see we're not complaining about the ball, you know, Brad Pitt. You don't need to really lament on that. We're not complaining about the ball. It's the batting and your captain. See, that's the problem. Do you understand? He said, looking ahead, um, Brad Pitt is optimistic about the future, particularly with the fast bowling unit, which he believes will be a formidable force in upcoming test matches. However, he also emphasized the importance of the batting unit stepping up to the challenge. As I said, the future is very bright for our fast bowling unit and we are still we have still got Kemar Roach with loads of experience and it you know he still has a lot of test match left in him. So it's very exciting Brathwait remark. But I must say I am very excited about the batting unit. I really think the lineup we have can do the job. <laughs> so Brathwait is still confident in his batting lineup people. So yo 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 yo. I believe that you know, people, I don't know why they're not performing because we know the batting have potential, but they're not performing. They're easily our form inconsistent. You know, I don't know what, but you know, just let's continue here from him. Um, so I am excited for the fast bowlers, but I really believe that this top five can do a good job for West Indies. So we just got to keep believing. <laughs> As well, as the West Indies look to build on the positive from the series, Brathwaite focus remains on consistency and mental toughness, key ingredients for success in the demanding arena of test cricket. So, basically, people, that was what Brathwaite had to say, you know, after the West Indies um, lost the second test um, versus South Africa. But leave your thoughts down below, people. Do you agree or disagree? Do you believe that West Indies need changes? Leave your thoughts down below. Like more, all right? Subscribe for new.